Hello again guys and welcome to part two of our cruise to Samalo, where having spent the day looking around the fantastic historical city, now it's time to return to the ferry for the trip back to Portsmouth. Now the light was beginning to fade as we headed towards the terminal building. You need to check in again by the way before boarding and there's plenty of time to grab a coffee or a bite to eat because the cafe inside is open for all passengers. Now once on board we headed for the very quiet self-service restaurant on deck seven. You know, we were so full, I did actually manage to eat a baguette. Joe had some soup, you know, two cups of tea, £16.11. And and we then had a bit of a wonder and headed towards the ship's cinemas. And interestingly, they lead off from the restaurant down to deck five. And so after descending the stairs, you kind of wind your way down some narrow corridors until you come to what I guess is the foyer, uh, which actually looks like a proper cinema, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it had some decent films on board too, with prices at nine euros per adult, seven euros fifty for kids, and thirty euros for a family of four. Well, then, guys, down on deck five, the cinema. I've always where the cinemas are on the Britain. They're like dying on deck. It's pretty cool as well. I'll tell you what, I think this door might be open. Should we have a quick peek? There we go. So that is your cinema, and uh, according to the screen there, we might, uh, I think we might have Barbie or Trolls band together on different um, different screens, presumably. Yeah, fascinating. The other thing with Britain is there are actually cabins all the way down. So you see there, down to deck two and then deck one, which is obviously the end. Um, lowest deck on the ship. Um, I quite fancy having a bit of a walk down there actually. We're on deck five in the moment. Four, three, two, one. You should go and have a look. Well there goes, yeah, deck deck one. So there are not many. But they're all yeah, they're all here. About how many there? Twenty five, something like that. There's a crew cabin down there. Yeah, yeah well. Look at that. Oh, watertight, watertight door. Wow, look at that. Fascinating, isn't it? Do you know what? It's just like any other. Any other deck, really, I suppose. If you can't see outside, obviously, it's going to be um, underwater at this point. So, um, yeah, you're definitely below the water line. Anyway, there's a lift here, so I think uh, I'm going to take that back up rather than all those stairs. Yeah, fascinating. If someone can confirm how many decks are below the waterline, I'd be really interested to know. Would you mind staying in one? There were a few passengers wandering around down in the bowels of the ship, and yeah, I'm not sure it would bother me, to be honest. If you didn't have a cabin, you could sleep on one of these reclining seats. Quiet, but yeah, it's definitely not for me these days. There are plenty of them, though, on deck eight and nine. And although they were obviously quite dated, they looked really comfortable. I mean, yeah, the interior of the Britain is a bit retro, but... It's 34 years old and, you know, that's its appeal to me. It is an absolute classic. You just don't make them like this anymore. I love this ship. Right, guys, uh, yeah, so, um, 10 decks on the Britain and uh, you can actually go right up to deck 10 outside. Plenty of deck space on this ship, which is one of my favourite things um, as you may know so uh, one of the prerequisites really for me I think is that, you know, the, enough deck space to especially in the summer to, to actually sit outside and enjoy yourself but the interesting thing and I showed you a little bit earlier is that uh, although you have cabins on deck 9, deck 8, deck 6 go all the way down to decks 2 and 1 
right at the bottom of the ship below the waterline and you have got cabins there it's quite away from the cabins on deck one back up to the main decks isn't it but if you have kids there's a small playroom here on deck eight and then we head down to deck seven where at the center of the ship you have a large shop and a couple of smaller boutiques and yeah being the time of year and all that a fantastic christmas tree reaching all the way up from deck six a Wi-Fi that was free for the first 60 minutes and then you have various packages you can purchase including unlimited Wi-Fi for 15 euros per single journey. A quick look inside the main shop here, unsurprisingly you have a massive selection of Toblerones plus all the other usual stuff you'd expect to find including a good selection of drinks and yeah, I find that Brittany Ferries usually do some pretty good deals on cases of wine. They're worth a look anyway. Now on the balcony we have a nautical chart of the area we are sailing in, plus an explanation of the routes we are likely to take. Which way do we go? We go or do we go this way? Now then it's downstairs to deck 6. Uh, don't forget to look up here at the beautiful ceiling. Fantastic isn't it? Now on deck 6 you will find a perfume shop, the information desk, a small kiosk for newspapers etc and a dedicated area for the storage of luggage. And so we just about managed another visit to the bar but yeah we were both pretty tired. We were due to arrive back into Portsmouth around about 8 o'clock in the morning so yeah it was another relatively early start to give us enough time to show you the cabin and get some fresh air and go and have the breakfast we were entitled to. Good morning guys from the Bretagne and yeah, we're back in the restaurant. It's breakfast time which is also included in your price and yeah we've ordered the traditional breakfast for me and a vegetarian breakfast for Joanne and we're going to see what, um, what comes out. We'll catch you in a bit. Okay so we've got the vegetarian one over there and the traditional one over here and You've even got soya milk, haven't you, Jane? I have, which is, yeah. Which is great. Which is not available in the middle. That's our juice. I've got coffee, there's toast as well. Like I said, this is all included in the price, so we're going to dig in. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll catch you in a bit. So let's finally talk about price. And to remind you, it's two nights accommodation in a two berth inside cabin, a three course a la carte dinner on the first night. The three course lunch in Samalo you saw in part one and we've just seen the full English breakfast you get on the second morning coming back. Total price for us was £155 per person. It's actually advertised at £149 per person on the Brittany Ferries website at the time of this recording anyway, but we paid an extra £6 supplement each for travelling out on a Friday. Now what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Right, just enough time to check out the cabin, grab our stuff, go back out on deck one last time and, yeah, just take a minute or two for both of us to sum up the journey. Well then guys, quick cabin tour, two berth inside cabin on the MV Bretan. So obviously you have the top bunk here and the bottom bunk here. Individual reading lights for both. Quite a small table here uh, with a large mirror and uh, yeah one thing to note there's only one plug socket that we could find and it's european two pit style stool there to sit at your very tiny desk to do some very tiny work i guess nice picture up here uh, no television in this um uh, the, the most basic of of cabins on on this ship uh, we got some coat hangers there in general kind of hanging up stuff plus the ladder for the top bunk and the bathroom is very, yeah, very much, um, yeah, your kind of old style curtain that clings to your naked body kind of shower. But it's fine, plenty of hot water as well. Uh, toilet and sink, 
not a lot more to say. Um, shower gel, heaven body gel over there. Yeah, not much more to say about the bathroom. It's functional, it's worked perfectly fine. And, and yeah, overall, yeah, for the price that you pay, you can upgrade by the way, but if you're going for the basic package, then this is what is included and it's perfectly fine. One thing I would say is that uh, yeah, it was a little bit hot last night, so yeah, if you don't like your kind of stuffy environments, you might want to yeah, check that out. You can control it with this uh, switch here. We had it on uh, cold, but was it cold enough? Uh, maybe, maybe not. But yeah, that's the cabin. Right, we're going to go out on deck now and have a little bit more of a look at that. So we were coming into Portsmouth pretty rapidly at this point. Oh, by the way, if you want to see what a really nice cabin bathroom looks like, check out my recent video on the new MV Maxman here. The shower, in particular, is excellent. Right then, guys, just coming into Portsmouth now. Spinnaker Tower in the background there. And yeah, price I paid for this trip, £310 for two people. And what you got for that is two nights accommodation, inside two berth cabin, uh, for three course a la carte meal on the first night on the crossing over to San Marlo, uh, three course lunch in San Marlo, uh, a full breakfast this morning coming back to Portsmouth for £310 or £155 per person. I think that is exceptional value for money. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's Two pretty good. accommodation as well. Yeah, and you know. You cannot go wrong for that. I would definitely recommend it, and I would definitely do it again. What do you think? Do it again? Yeah, i do it again. Do it again. Brilliant. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I shall catch you on another adventure soon, and as always, do you want to say it? No? Cheers for now.